hey guys, me again here. Probably gonna be another one of those serious videos, so let's get into it. From time to time on the internet, you kind of come across things that turn your stomach a little bit. Back in the day, for me, it was two girls, one cup. It was pretty fucking gross, pretty gross. However, sometimes the shady underbelly of the internet goes unnoticed until someone stumbles down an Empath Chan rabbit hole and things kind of get uncovered. A few videos ago, before my dommy mommy Empath Chan put me in my subjugate little place, I said this. Three some screenshots that were allegedly from her Discord server surfaced where she's talking to Sleepy Seymour about him helping groom a 15 year old girl. In blue is Empath Chan and you see Sleepy Seymour reaching out saying, are you going to delete my message if I tell you why? She responds, the mods just do it. So yes, just post it. Okay, read it. I'll read it. Here you see Sleepy Seymour say Michael is too poor for a bus ticket. Later we find out that Michael is Michael Gabriel Sosa. She responds, why was she staying? And he then responds, they're in love and she wants to run away from her parents. Here you see her say, oh, how are they in love if she's 12 she doesn't know what she wants sleepy seymour then responds she's like 15 i think now at the time i made sure i said that these were allegations and that i did not have any definitive proof that these were real however Things come to light when you start looking. This is Sleepy Seymour, AKA Jeff M. Now it's my understanding that a lot of people online know Jeff, especially if you're a 12 year old girl with an eating disorder. In a screenshot on a post of Eugenia Cooney, who is known as somebody to have an eating disorder, someone says the following. Some messages from the creeper last night, can't put his finger on it. It's because she is wearing less and less clothes every stream sicko. And what this person is in reference to is the screenshot that is taken within this post. Here you can see someone that has their name blocked out says, I feel like Eugenia's streams have been next level recently. Like I can't put my finger on it. There's just more excitement. She seems happier, cuter. Tee I Well, I added that part. Now, personally, I think that this post is talking about somebody, but I'm not quite sure who. Man, I guess the world will never know. Unless maybe that someone was in my Pookie Boo's Discord talking bad about my dommy mommy. Here you see Sleepy Seymour talking to my honey pie saying, can you stop fanning the flames and making things worse? Just let it fucking die. Here you can see someone asking, are you referring to that streamer who made the video on Empath Chan? First of all, I'm not a streamer. I am a YouTuber who has happens to stream however sleepy seymour said yes shout out to my boy Chaz because i feel like he kind of went hard for me on this but he asked were you the guy trying to convince a 15 year old to run away from her parents question mark sleepy seymour then says they were abusing her so i bought her a bus ticket to live with her older boyfriend i deserve a medal for that she's been happier ever since however what seymour didn't know at the time is i had a couple of decoys go into his instagram page and do a little bit of reconnaissance but i'm not going to be showing that information not now at least but what you don't know about Seymour is he really knows what a young girl looks like as he's able to spot one of the decoys. Here you see Sleepy Seymour say, I suddenly have a bunch of 12 and 13 year old girls trying to follow me on Insta. Couldn't possibly be the pedo hunters. In this next screenshot, there is a conversation between my little Shinigami and Sleepy Sleepy over here. He says, it's okay, I'm blocking them all. She says, they're trying to get more on you. Where are you packing to? He says, I don't know. I'm just gonna drive across the US and live out of my car for a while. Then he has the nerve to talk to my little Ichigo like this. Sleepy Seymour says, this is all a funny game to you. Something is very mentally wrong with you. Something went terribly wrong somewhere in your life. Well, isn't that just the possibility calling the racist a kettle. Gotcha Blades then comes in and says, are you talking about yourself to Sleepy Seymour? In Path Chan's response to Sleepy Seymour's question was, yeah, when you stylized me. Sleepy Seymour then says, it's hilarious how you can always use the bad man stylized me excuse for everything to justify your behavior. It's like a get out of jail free card and people believe it too. In Path Chan then responds to what he said by saying, you admit it all the time when it suits you, but now that it gets you in trouble, it's another story crying laughing face. In referencing the trafficking of the minor, Sleepy Seymour said, I honestly thought I was doing a good deed where my honey pie says, no, you didn't. She then asks, you thought it was a good deed when you stylized me, I assume? Sleepy Seymour then says, actually, I did do a good deed, period, because they still love each other to this day and have a wonderful baby together. Here you can see my schnookums replying to Sleepy Seymour when he said, I'm quitting my job, packing my things. 
things and getting in the car and going to hiding saying it's over for you bro. She says Destiny follows me, he's seen the video, Destiny in reference here is Destiny GG, one of the largest streamers on the planet. Sleepy Seymour is talking about Empath Chan when he says that she is an evil psycho when he stylized her to be that way. He stylized many underage girls in Hangout and Pro Anorexia Discord servers and stylized young girls. She then follows up by saying nice, making yourself look worse. Discord chats are logged by the feds. Here you see Sherman saying you bought a child a ticket to live with her stylist. Well done. Sherman then questions the destiny. Pablo Diablo says are there any sheep adjacent people in the vid? Pablo Pablo Diablo answers him, yep, then Sleepy Seymour says Michael and B were mentioned too. Personally, I'm going to give Destiny the benefit of the doubt that he's busy and he doesn't really have some Dr. Disrespect type shit going on, but I guess you never know, Destiny, do you? Unless you want to clarify, come out and talk about this. At the top of this, you got some familiar faces. We got old Seymour himself. We got Mr. Sosa, who is a confirmed, you know, groomer, stylist, whatever you want to call him. Below that, we see my boy Chaz going in saying if she was abused it would have been better had you convinced her to go to the police instead of doing risky shit like this then you have pablo diablo saying nah four of my homies on this i'm cooked at the bottom you see sleepy seymour saying i'm quitting my job packing my things getting in the car and going into hiding i will say my boy chaz is kind of looking like a chad here however my real question is to you jeffrey why are you quitting your job packing your things getting into your car and going into hiding if you did nothing wrong. Here you can see Alphanim tagged Sleepy Seymour said, hey bro, you want to stay with me for a bit? I can buy you a plane ticket if you're far. Sleepy Seymour then says, I can afford a plane ticket. Hey guys, if you're here from K Farms and you're at this part of the video, please understand I was being facetious about Empath Chan being mine. She threatened to kill me. Sleepy Seymour says your attitude will change once every brown and black person in Ireland recognizes you on the street and terrorizes you. Empath Chan responds to somebody else saying, did you see the big news i'm on k farms now sleepy seymour said you should be scared too empath chan why aren't you panicking have drugs ruined your brain they will come after you and get all of your accounts banned on every platform then your money will dry up for good she said cope i have options you do not Elfinim says i'm gonna send him police then ha 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 wow you deserve it pussy at sleepy seymour sleepy seymour then said he's going to delete all of his accounts discord insta whatever else he has try to scrub his online presence then goo dump my laptop and phone into the river Chan says, well, you may as well do that now because time is ticking. Empath Chan says, well, you may as well do that now because time is ticking. Sherman says, OK, I'm back. Give me a minute to collect all the screenies. Empath Chan then says, I am your lead to destruction. Enjoy. Sleepy Seymour says, hey, can you email that scapegoat guy and tell him I'm not involved at all and that it was all a mistake? Question mark. Mm, no, because Empath Chan claims that you're the reason that she's the monster that she is, so she's not going to be the one to beg for your forgiveness. However, if she wants to reach out on Discord and add me back as a friend and not send me pictures of dead cats being tortured, I will be more than happy to have a civilized conversation with her. And for all intended purposes, these were public conversations held by the public in a general setting inside of Empath Chan's Discord server that's also public as far as I know. of. Maybe she locked it down now. I'm not making any claims i'm not making any allegations i'm just reading information that was given to me by my sources i do have a lot of footage that i need to go through and pull screenshots from and put together a more cohesive story however this is what i have for right now i am curious if destiny knows about this so if anyone knows him why don't you ask him for me and as some of the people in her discord suggested if you want me to turn this into a turkey tom style video let me know and i will be more than happy to do a deep dive sleepy seymour jeffrey m welcome to the petting zoo.